Hi everyone, welcome to another 5 minute demo video. Today what we're going to do is take a look at a feature called Remote Packet Capture. And it's something that's very powerful, especially for those of you who own multiple sites and have to oversee multiple networks and can't always be physically on site at a moment's notice. This feature is available in all of our products, including the MX security appliances, our enterprise wireless access points, and the MS switching line, which is what we're going to be looking at today. Now you can see on the screen that I am currently viewing the organizational overview page for Meraki Corp, which is the, uh, it contains all the different networks. So we're going to just narrow and focus in on just one of them, uh, the one that I'm currently connected to. Now from here, I've just typed in kind of part of the network name. I'm going to select it and it's going to take us down to the network level view of all the clients on the network. One of the first things you'll notice is that we're listing wireless clients here as well. That's because we're viewing a condensed view. We have switches, security appliances, and also wireless all in one nice easy view here. And the client's view will contain all connected devices regardless of what media they're using to connect. But sometimes you'll want to narrow that down. So we're going to filter that for just switch clients. And what I'm going to do is my MacBook uh, is named with my first name. So if I type that in here, we should be able to find it. And sure enough, there's just one Tony in this building, and there's my MacBook. What I'm going to do now is select this client. And from here, you're going to see a lot of different information about my laptop. You'll see that I started work right around 8 a.m. today. You'll also see what type of device it is, but most importantly is the fact that you can see exactly where in the network I'm currently connected. You can see which switch as well as which port I'm on, and you can even click on these to dive into specifics on that switch and port. But in this case, let's say perhaps I was having a connectivity problem and you wanted to remotely do some basic troubleshooting. Now, of course, you could go in here, you could click the port and you could take a look at how that respective port's configured. That's one step in troubleshooting and it's certainly an important one. Uh, and you can see in this case that I'm actually connected wirelessly to an access point, an MR26. There's other clients connected and Here's my laptop here. You can see that I have an IP address and that I'm on a valid VLAN. But perhaps if you've done all the basics and you still want to do some deeper troubleshooting uh, and you're kind of stuck, then what you can do is use the dashboard PCAP or packet capture tool. And again, very powerful. It's an advanced method of troubleshooting and you can very easily get to it just by clicking this option here, packet capture. Now, as soon as I click that, you'll notice that we move away from the client's view that we were under and over to the packet capture view. And this is actually already pre-populated with the switch and also the port that my laptop was last seen on. It's even specified an, a filter expression with just my laptop's MAC address and dashboard knows all of this information so it already pre-populates that for you. Now maybe we want to just take a verbose capture so we take away the expression and then here's some other really cool things, including the fact that you have output options. You can either view it in clear text below in the window here. You can download it into a .pcap extension file so that you can analyze it with Wireshark. And my personal favorite is the fact that you can stream it to something called CloudShark. Now, if you take a look, CloudShark is basically a Wireshark that's cloud-based, hence the name CloudShark. Now, I personally don't have permissions to run a capture, but if you were the network administrator, you would simply click start and it would take it for whatever duration you specified in the method you chose. Now, let's say we want to stream, you just put 30 seconds or maybe 60 and click start. At the end of the capture, you'll have a link to immediately view it. And again, I don't have permissions, but what I can do is demonstrate to you what this looks like. All of this is logged. And it's fully compliant with all the big uh, you know, certifications out there like HIPAA, PCI, etc. If I go to the capture logs here, you'll notice that we now have the logs available and we have them for switches, appliances, and access points. And let's say we want to take a look at one of these that perhaps my colleague took earlier in the day. You see lots of them here. Here's one that was taken on uh, one of the switches. Uh, it was a cloud shark type and it was taken on all ports 1 through 35. If I click on this link, you'll see that it's just going to open another tab in my browser here uh, directly to point to that capture that's stored on the cloud shark instance and you can see all the different packets right here. I could even narrow them down. Let's say I want to see, for example, only DHCP traffic. So I can say boot P, filter that down, and there you have it. So that's just an example of how quickly you can get down to really the bits and bytes flowing over 
uh, one or even multiple switch ports at a time. It's a very powerful tool and it'll very quickly allow for you to get and hone in on a specific issue happening on your network. I'd like to thank you for taking a look at this demo and definitely feel free to visit all of the other demo videos that are available and posted on docs.meraki.com forward slash ms.